in the science labs, each of you should find a microscope either in the cabinet at your workstations or they may be located in the cabinets at the front or sides of the room. Locate the microscopes in your laboratory and follow these instructions carefully. Always grasp the microscope by the curved area called the arm with one hand and be sure the second hand is under the bottom or base. That is the proper way to move and transport the microscope. Position your scope in front of your chair and be sure the arm faces away from you. Unwrap the power cord on the back and plug it into a power receptacle near you. Look at the base area on the left side toward the back. You should find a black wheel that serves as the on-off switch for the light. Turn on your microscope and observe for light. If your microscope has an on-off switch that is a wheel, some light adjustment can be made by rolling the wheel. At the top of the microscope facing you, you should find two eyepieces or oculars. When using the scope, be sure you look into both eyepieces at the same time. By manually adjusting the black plate beneath the eyepieces, you can change the space between the eyepieces to fit you more comfortably. Finally, so that dust and debris will not be observed, you may wish to clean the oculars with lens paper. Please be aware that lens paper is the only material that can be used to clean any of the glass associated with the microscopes. Do not use Kleenex or paper toweling as they will scratch the glass surfaces. I have found that I like to wipe my slide first just to be sure no lint or fingerprint grease gets in the way. To make a wet mount, a drop of water or other specified liquid is placed in the center of the slide. Next, the item to be viewed is added and mixed within the drop. Then the cover slip is positioned at a 45 degree angle near the drop and moved slowly to the edge of the drop, then gently lowered over the drop. I like to look for bubbles, and if present, try to gently tap the cover slip to disperse them. Once you have made a fresh slide, you will want to examine it as soon as possible. Find the stage of your microscope. Be sure it is as far down as possible, and use the coarse adjustment knob to lower it if necessary. Place your slide with the cover slip up on the stage and secure it to the stage using the stage clips. Once secured, the slide can be moved left, right, forward, or backward by use of the slide moving knobs attached below the stage on the right side. Now look just above the stage and observe a rounded piece called the revolving nose piece which is holding four cylinders of various lengths. These cylinders are objective lenses and each has a different magnification capacity. The shortest one marked with a red line is called the scanning lens and it has a magnification of four times. On your microscope, turn the nose piece clockwise until you have the scanning lens over your specimen. On the side of the arm toward the base you will find two knobs. The outermost one is called the fine adjustment knob and the one immediately beside it is the coarse adjustment knob. While observing from the side of the microscope, slowly turn the coarse adjustment knob to move slide and objective closer together. One last thing you may need to do is to increase or decrease the brightness of your field by controlling the amount of light. Light enters a microscope from a light source on the base into an area known as the diaphragm and up to a part called the condenser. On the diaphragm is a lever that can be moved left to right which helps increase or decrease light. It works much like the pupil area of your own eye. In addition, a condenser adjustment knob on the left side can move the condenser up and down. The end of the lab is a critical time for microscope care. How you put up your microscope is extremely important. Listen carefully. Your instructor may add personal comments, but let's start now. Turn the nose piece so the scanning lens is in place. Use the coarse adjustment knob to lower the stage as far down as possible. Remove slides from the microscope. 
If any of your lenses were dirty, clean them carefully with lens paper. Check the stage and clean up any debris that might be on it. Move the stage area so the black mechanical slide bar is flush with the right side of the stage. Be sure the stage is flush at the front. Be sure the iris diaphragm is completely open by turning the lever to the left. Use a condenser knob to be sure the condenser is all the way up. Turn off the light, unplug the scope, and wrap the cord around the clips on the back side of the arm. Open the door and slide out the microscope tray if available. Place the scope on the tray or cabinet shelf with the arm facing outward. Slide in and close the door.